Oh, I hope I got I got one right. I'm doing. Hey. I did that right. Right. I got that right. Now I'm gonna go for another one. <laughs> Let's see. All right. How you doing? Let me get myself in here a little bit. Great. Thanks for okay. having us, Paxton. Oh, you're fine. Let's see here. Here we go. She did hers. I, I love that you both are patient with me, like a number of people, while I'm doing this technology stuff that my daughters are awesome at. But um, they throw me in front of the camera. Oh, it worked. <laughs> you can hear can you hear? Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? we can hear you. Okay, so we're good. All right, uh, I can hear you. I actually say that for one reason: is so you can say something back to me. But uh, I heard both of you, so we're doing well. But we need to slide into turning the music on. Now that I'm I'm standing here at this moment with two very groovy people, <laughs> I just. Hey, look, if we're going to talk about uh, this dark aspect of uh, this subject and this dark aspect of certain people's personality, for me personally, uh, as I mentioned to my daughters when we started this, I'm not going to do it unless I have fun. Uh, so, <laughs> because <Amen. laughs> uh, I can get really cranky about this subject, and that just doesn't make good production value. So um, I have to say both of you have had an impact once I put out that you were coming on the show. <laughs> uh, I think you have like a groupy thing happening and you don't know it yet. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just saying as long as you're okay with it, because there were a few people I didn't even I didn't even know that they knew who you were. And I was surprised. Uh I'm trying to be careful how I say this. Oh, why not? The age group and who they are and they're like, Oh yeah, we know who that is. Oh, I'm Paxton, I was gonna tell you you should have them on your show and, and well Aww. now you both are here. So thank you both for we're doing honored. this. To be here. <laughs> you, okay, all right. You're already on the show. Don't don't do that. <laughs> okay. Um, this little hole in the wall. I'm in a basement somewhere in uh, Southern California near the beach. Okay, I make that up all the time. Um, I am going to do a number of things tonight that uh, I have not done before with anyone else, and I wanted to try it with both of you. Uh, and Katie, I did touch on a little bit with you, uh, but also, um, well, Kara, you. Hopefully she gave you an update. We're going to try something different tonight. The audience will see that as we go through this. But right now, I'm looking at a number of people uh, who are here, um, and they got to be your follower. I know they're not here to see me. <laughs> Anybody you guys know there? Any any names that you can scroll through yes. and see and say hi to? Hi, sis. Best friends. My boy. Hey, Dustin. <laughs> hey, Sandy. Our family. Hi, hi Sam. Well, what's that? Well, you guys are all talking in general. Can you like say their names so I can know who they are too? So, just, <laughs> so what are some of the names of the people that are here? Give them some shout out. Ricky, Sandy. my sister. <laughs> uh, Sammy's from Cali. She's my best friend since we were six years old. My wow. best friend, Dustin. He's on there, Mr. Sunday. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, last night, uh, I got to speak with someone. Uh, who who takes out uh, the trash? Uh, <laughs> I just had to say that for Kara. Not. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that. That was good. That's the right answer. Hey, There's it's not me. Mom, hey, Cindy, mom. <laughs> uh, mom nice, hands now. handsome young man, man that was uh, with you last night, uh, who looks like he would defend your honor uh, to the death. And yes. uh, I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to. I didn't mention that last night. But I thought about that uh, when I woke up this morning. I said, that is really cool. Uh, I can see it in his eyes uh, that he has an affection for you uh, that runs deep. It's not a surface affection. Even though, you know, us guys, we're really trying to be cool and try to act like. You know, Play it off. That, that's, a, that's a whole nother show. I don't even want to get into that. So I give you props on that. But Thank you. I've got to tell you, Katie. Katie, you have some really, really cute pictures uh, of, uh, of you with your children. You have two, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, right? I have two. Okay. All right, really, really Literally beautiful picture. the cutest kids in the world. All right, I got to be they're careful because I have other people that have been on the show. So <laughs> I don't have grandchildren, so I'm just saying they're really cute, though. Thank you. <laughs> really, That's really adorable. cute. I go with you on Kara on that. Um, so I, you both are doing exceptionally well when it comes to choices, comparison to things that may have happened to you in the past. Uh, by the way, I just got to say this, too. Uh, and Kara, uh, love the... Um, the baseball pictures uh, that you take oh. when you're, yeah, yeah, really cool. Go Dodgers. Woo, yeah, Dodgers. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to be real good about that. And my, my, my oldest daughter is not, well, neither one of them. They're both Dodger fans. I am too, but 
Uh, if we say Dodgers right now, they just freak out. So great picture. But I've got to say there are moments in our life that are not like the ones you're having now. And uh, challenging, uh, difficult. How would you describe, feel free whoever wants to go first, because I'm, I'm essentially handing the audience over to both of you, and they've said a lot. They've got, you got woohoos here. Um, you got just highs. You got so much from Ontario, Canada. Uh, you, leave, no contact, go ghost is here. So many others are here. You've got a lot of love. I'm just scrolling and scrolling. Um, so much is happening there. But now we really need to get to what both of you wanted to come on to talk about and highlight. Uh, well, Cheryl Smith says it right. Cheryl Smith, one, two, three. Recovery is hard. Recovering yeah. from someone who you trusted to take the lead and be kind and gentle to provide, protect, and guide, and they didn't live up to that and did not loyally hold on to you and protect your emotions and keep you in a safe place emotionally, you've been let down before, like many people. What do you say to the audience that's going through that right now or maybe beginning their journey of getting that let down? Um, I can go first. So what I would say to someone, and it's almost like I'm speaking to, you know, like my past self, is to really educate yourself. I feel like once I educated myself on this stuff, I had no idea what a narcissist was. I had no idea what narcissistic abuse was. Once I educated myself, it was like mind blowing how textbook behavior this is, how similar this happens, all of this yeah. stuff came to surface where I was shocked. And I feel like if I had found that out, or if I had, well, you know, this is mine and Katie's mission. If we had heard this on Instagram, or, you know, any of this, where we could research it ourselves, yeah. then we would have gotten out a lot sooner, even though it is hard, that education helps you so much. Mm -hmm. 100%. And I would just say to just keep going and turn inward to yourself and really give yourself that love that you are craving so badly from this person. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, mo most of the time people have no idea what they're dealing with the majority of the time. Yeah. And the majority, the majority of them are women. Um, uh, Kara, you, you should, you should have never let me, you know, you let me find out what you were doing uh, yesterday. Yes. <laughs> when you, when you called and asked, when you wanted to ask a question about the show, and so you've been on a research uh, binge uh, of information. Uh, so you get a chance to share that. I do want to ask uh, Katie this question. Uh, Katie, when it, when it comes to life and where it is for you right now and your family, have you, have you been able to, to put into words for everybody at this moment in time Put into words, are you in a position to put into words what you actually went through to describe it as if you're trying to describe a movie that took place? Try to describe it for those that may be, again, going through it and they can't find the words for it. And That's nobody believes them. And, and also nobody believes them. <laughs> also. Well, what it, felt like, what it felt like to me when I was in the situation was... Um, I don't know if you guys have seen Spongebob, but that episode was Squidward. <laughs> you didn't Squidward. just do that. You really didn't just. You have just made a friend because my oldest daughter loves Spongebob. I've never she watched it. Well, go ahead. Okay, got it. All right, go ahead. So I, I saw this episode with my kids where Squidward was just living like the same every, uh, the same thing day to day, like over and over yeah. and over again on okay. one episode. And you could just see his face just start drooping and he was just so sad and like, I felt like when I was in the situation, I was just going through the motions and I wasn't truly like living my life. Like I wasn't truly happy. And, um, you know, it's a lot deeper than that because it's a lot darker, but I want to try and keep it light. Um, I would just, you know, recommend to just keep going and keep, like Kara said, just keep doing your research and keep pouring into yourself. Do those things that make you happy. Journal, make sure even if it's like hard right now, journal what you're going through and write down everything in detail because later on mm -hmm. when you do get out of this because you will um yeah. you can look back at that journal and you will read everything that you went through and it will validate everything that you went through so yeah. you know what i'm saying like it 
helps you realize that it was true. And especially when they start, to, uh, a toxic person starts to come back around, you know, yeah. uh -huh. um, it really helps you stay focused because you know that, no, this was real. It's written right here. These are my words and it's yeah. real. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what I, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Of course, there are a number of things you, you don't know where I'm going to ask you, but what are the dark parts? Because, People write me and they talk about theirs. They want to know they're not alone. So not to delve, be nosy, but if you are able to give a parameter so people know, hey, this is real, what you're going through. Maybe they haven't started journaling. Maybe just to hear from you some of the dark moments. Um, like I said, just going through the motions, like really just hitting rock bottom and just like not – being able to reach out to people because you don't think that they can understand. You just feel so alone and alienated. Um, yeah. The first yeah. thing that comes to mind for me was uh, losing sense of self. So mm -hmm. I really had no life outside of this person. This person had become literally my everything. So I had lost friends during this relationship. I had, you know, lost myself to where like, I would always be like, what are you doing? What are we doing? Like, it was never like I had my own separate life. So after, you know, why it's so hard to leave is you're wrapped up and entangled in this person where you have no sense of yeah. your own life. And I think that that's a huge thing, you know, survivors get out of this is like finding themselves again. Mm -hmm. 100%, yeah. Do you, do you find it hard to look back and make sense make sense of it with words no i so that's like going back to the educational part of it like once i did this research in the beginning and once i started like really mm -hmm. diving into the facts it really helped yeah. me like wow that's why that happened wow that's why i did that wow like it helped mm -hmm. me understand myself because a lot of times it's hard to forgive oh. yourself for putting up with all of that for going back mm -hmm. for choosing that stuff. yeah i do kind of find it hard to like come up with the words to explain to someone what they went through or what you went through yeah. because yep. it's just so you don't know unless you're there you know so it's just yeah. like you're trying to explain something to someone that's so vast that it's just like you only tell them this much you know and hope that and it's, it's enough it's not small i i, I kind of i need to both solid points that both of you are making that I've heard just in the, I don't know, 16, 18 months, whatever it's been that uh, we've been doing this. I hear a lot of people saying what both of you have just said, education, extremely important because now you can, you can linguistically explain what has taken place. It's almost as if you now know the recipe of how it all was working while you were in it. And in that big mix bowl, now, you know, okay, yeah. those were the chocolate chips. That was the baking powder. That yeah. was, and now it all makes sense. It's one huge recipe, and you're going like, okay, that recipe don't work for me. Okay, yeah, right. and now you, now you can go live your life. But for others that they don't know they're in this big mixing bowl, right? and that all of a sudden their identity is being sucked out of them, mm -hmm. and they all of a sudden become in this shell or this pod of a person because, what did you say, entangled? People become entangled and mesh with one another. But yeah. I, I, like, I like what you just said there, Katie, because there was a point you said you're highlighting the fact that, well, you you can't really per se describe it because it's so vast. It's 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 vast. It's big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think a lot of times when you said that, that triggered and to say that it clicked in my head that I'm thinking about everybody that's been on the show in over 350 some odd episodes, and it does make sense. Everyone is pretty much saying what you just said. It's not like one thing. Hmm. it's not 10 things there's layers it's to not it. 30 things that's like, exactly why we're doing this like because we so want to many. teach and educate yeah. that's exactly why we're here that's our mission to just educate people on this cycle of abuse that they're stuck in and they can't get out so they can see it for themselves and get out and turn their love inwards and heal <laughs> yeah and where one person may be at one stage of their this mess that they're dealing with with who they're dealing with you got somebody else, a friend, a coworker, or somebody else going through another, and then something we personally or you personally have gone through. Mm -hmm. Everyone's in this whole vast thing that's happening, but yet yeah. um, now, oh, I think Kara, Kara, you said it's like textbook. It's like, you, yeah. it's like they're working off a playbook, and everybody else is like, 
I have no idea what play they're running, and I'm I thoroughly confused. Honestly, like, the more I talk about it, the more similar all the stories are, right? And the more, yeah. like, yeah, that's true. That's, when no, I that's talk true. to people about this, I would be like, wait, what is this person's name? Because I almost thought we had, like, <laughs> been with the same person. Yeah, I think, like, I I was think that person, what? that person, I know that that person is with me. And they go like, no, that person is with me. Yeah. yeah right. Are they related? Are they all related? <laughs> no, I know you go like, wait a minute. He, the same parents? Yeah. He's he's four feet nine and acting that way and that one's like seven too, but they're the same are they related? You know, they're different parts of the world. No, right. It's all the same. Well so how does that work now with your education? That you're you you become you've become a a uh a student, a, a narc narcologist student. Uh <laughs> Well, I was gonna go. I was gonna say radiologist, but I'm gonna leave that alone right now. But you are a, nar a narcologist student. Uh, yes. I hope, hopefully, that was an inside joke. But yeah, uh, um, you become this narcologist student waiting to get your degree uh, on 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 narcissist. And okay, uh, well, 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 go first. ahead. I will give myself credit. I have done a ton of research say. on this, but I am no scientist, so I actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, so okay. Little... Let me help. Let me help you. Let me cut you off and and be rude. Uh, and with that, so everybody go like, "Wow, how rude that guy is!" I've never. I'm not watching this show ever again. Uh, hot pocket. Hot pocket. Okay. All right. So seriously, let me just say this. This is a ghetto street conversation. We don't care about credentials here. This is as okay. if you walked into the ghetto and it, you going into the barber shop. So this show is all about barber shop today for sure. Thing. So I just I saw that I thought it. you know I'm gonna get shot. She's not gonna get Remember? shot. I'm gonna be. Uh, do you want me to just dive right in? So all this. Yes, knowledge? I okay. I do, and and then Katie and I will jump in when we see we see daylight. Whenever we see daylight, but go right ahead. You feel and, free uh, to jump in whenever. I want to do a little wait, background. Wait, I'm sorry. Please forgive me again. I got to tell you what people are saying. I should. I'm being so rude here. Uh, hey, look at look at look at you, Kara. Spread that awareness. That's from Bee Wilderness. Uh, is that a family member or what? Is it somebody you guys um, know? She's actually someone I met and helped through. Oh, her cool! That's yeah. awesome. And uh, safety, Cindy. My mom. <laughs> she says, "What what's name of show?" Uh, and emotional and a bunch of laughing from from Nikki. Excuse me, from Ricky. And uh, <laughs> is, you said that's your mom. Cindy's your mom. Yeah. <laughs> she says she says deep breath, girl. Now that's your that's your executive producer right there. That's yeah, your director a from a distance. <laughs> I'm looking at it myself. I've been trying to give you some make you laugh and kind of lighten up a little bit because it's know. okay. Every listen, every everybody does this when they come on. They're a little tense. But well, it's our trust first me, show too, and this is it, exactly what well, we wanted to do. So we're excited. I, yeah, yeah. You sh you sh you should be doing more shows, and I hope you will. And I'll be happy to give you a list of people you should reach out to because you should be on a tour, uh, both of you. Um, but I have to say, Cheryl Smith and uh, Katie, or rather, uh, Carol. I'm going to hand this over to you in just a second. The show, but it says Cheryl Smith says this. She says, "You don't know what you don't know." And uh, your mom says healing is essential. She ha she gives you a heart and a Band-Aid. Uh, so take it from there, Katie. Let's talk about this and the stuff you've been learning so that you can protect, protect yourself uh, as well as other young women out there from uh, technically these men. I know, guys, I know you write me, and I do do shows about guys. Tonight, this Friday, this ghetto show is about these two women mm -hmm. and helping other young women under the age of 40 or 35 that are dealing with this. Uh, but go right ahead. Okay, so basically, let's get into hoovering. And if you know what hoovering okay. is, um, I was in a relationship for about five years on and off. And I would, no matter how much I knew that this person was bad for me, I would always go back to them. And I would tell myself, wow. oh, I would tell myself, I'm so strong this time. I know oh. that I got this. And uh -huh. um then they would come around and I would just go back. So um, during the relationship, you try to like express your, your feelings and you try and set like these boundaries, yeah. you know, right. uh -huh. and this person doesn't want to listen. They don't, they don't care. They're like, okay, whatever. So finally, you know, you're going to put your foot down. You're going to walk away. Um, you're going to go no contact. And of course you walk away. They don't like that. They want to tell you everything to get you back. They're going to uh -huh. tell you, I need counseling. Um, you were right. I've had a spiritual awakening. 
I, you know, I've heard it all. I have really. to, I have to, I have to ask. Okay, now you just said it. You said what I was. Did you? Did you? Did somebody really tell you that they had oh, a spiritual yeah. awakening? Yes. Okay, you're you're the third person out of like I said, almost three hundred, <laughs> some over three hundred fifty episodes that have said that. And every time the only heard it, you're the third person. I want to laugh every time. Does it? Did it actually work? I laughed at first, you know, but then like. I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. No, but I'm no, just no. Saying, it's 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 truly funny because they'll literally master tell you master manipulator. Yes, master manipulator. Bingo. They'll literally they they'll literally tell you anything you want to hear to bring you back into that relationship. Wow. And wow. the conscious part of your mind knows to doubt it, um, yeah. but yeah. especially if this person is persistent, the sub your subconscious mind is telling you like, oh, maybe they did change. You know, you give them yeah. like the. You give them the benefit of the doubt, and yeah. soon enough, you start to believe it. Um, and um, you feed into those thoughts, and you might feel that they're truly changed. Um, yeah. And that's like where the hoovering all begins, you know? And that's when it goes back into the love bombing phase. That's when they start mm -hmm. treating you amazing, um, getting you, taking you on a vacation, or buying you wow. gifts. Um, and then it's their little bait. They're giving you a little fishing bait and you decide to take that bite or not. But most mm -hmm. of the time, if you're in this cycle of abuse and you're addicted, you're uh, into the highs and the lows in your brain, which Kara will mm -hmm. go over in just a little bit, um, mm -hmm. you're going to take that bite and you're going to get reeled in. And soon enough, you're back in the same invalidating patterns and you just feel yeah. like, so foolish you're like why did i go back like i knew i saw the yeah. red flags and i knew um so that's basically what like the hoovering tactic is to get you back into the uh narcissistic relationship um may, may, may i ask this then because I, I i did mention to both of you that the audience here has gotten much younger literally we're talking high school girl uh it's easy for me to say that i'm 60 years old so they're literally oh, girls. I mean, I have two daughters and, and they are like, we've never heard of this, you know, them and their friends. They're like finding out what narcissism is. And they're finding out this guy from school or some that are out of school uh, are coming in and hoovering them, love bombing, them, excuse me, yeah. love bombing them. And they're going through this, this cycle that they're learning so about now, that you're going to talk more about uh, and, uh, Katie and just or like Kara the, in a minute. Just, just like the Gabby Petito story, yeah, you know, yeah. there, she was mm -hmm. obviously clearly a victim of, this cycle and yep. um it, it can the, get the so, highs and the lows like you said the highs and the lows can make uh -huh. them addictive right it can get so so toxic and that's why it can get to that point where someone can get hurt really badly and we want to help why this hoovering tactic works and mm -hmm. um it's fear you're scared of being alone. You're scared mm -hmm. of this person changing and finding happiness with someone else. Um, wow. Yeah. And also um, the guilt. You know, you have all of this guilt because narcissists are great at guilt tripping you. You know, they yeah. blame you for basically, basically everything. Like, oh, you, yeah. you don't love me because you don't want to stick it out and make it work with me. Or, you know, and you don't, that guilt is heavy. So you don't want to carry that. So getting back with them will take that guilt away. Um, and also you still hear like those stories in your head, you know, like that perfect image family that you've told, told your friends and families and just yeah. that, um, you know, the image that you created in your head and wanted to put into the world. Right, you know, that's right. why you go back because you think that yeah. you can obtain it. Um, and lastly, um, why they hoover is because they want control. We all know that's what yeah. narcissists do. They want control over you. Um, also, hoovering works because they don't like losing. And when they win you, it satisfies them pretty much. It's really sad. And hoovering um, is, or not hoovering, but um, it's addictive with the highs and lows for them. Um, yeah. They're very, um, they're, excuse me. <laughs> the you're doing, that, listen, the you're doing fantastic. You're engaged. doing, go ahead. The, yeah. the drama keeps them engaged. They're just like us with the highs and the lows and the chemicals in your brain. 
Um, right. They crave that up and down. Maybe it stems from childhood, maybe, but you know what? That's not your problem. You know, there you go. Get help. Not, so don't, not your, don't right. go finding excuses for them. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try to be their yeah, their so doc. Don't just, try to be their parent or their doctor, right? Yeah, Hoovering is basically just another phase of the narc cycle. It's love bombing, devalue, discard, Hoover okay. again, and they just get you in this ugly, toxic cycle. And that's exactly why you go back so many times. Also, with the um, chemical neurons, it's it's scientific that there's a reason why you go back. I'm just I'm I'm just gonna, just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. I just wait. Hold on a second. I, I just gotta tell you this. I just gotta tell you this. You 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 got something on the screen. Do you see it? Do you see it there? There's a comment on the screen. Would you, um, Katie? Would you would you read that to us? Leave no contact. Leave, they're agreeing with you. Oh yes. Leave no contact. That is really hard, especially when you have to have contact with this person. No, no. They got some words right after that. Oh, that's the that's their I'm name. Sorry. Leave leave no contact. Go ghost is their name. Uh, okay, but they, they mentioned something that says narcissist. Go ahead. You can read it for the audience in your in your friends and family that Hold are on. here as well. I can I'm looking. see it. You want me to read it? Or, or read, yes, yeah, if you could. Yeah, also somebody. Also do their hate bombing when they're insidious, manipulative, love bombing, abuser, tox abuser tactics does not work. That's essentially what you were just talking about, Katie, that mm -hmm. they try to find a way. To use oh, love yeah. bombing, and when they don't get their way, then they hate bomb you. They smear you and talk bad about you, try to put you down, belittle you, and a whole lot more. Of and other, the audience uh, is connecting with what you're saying. Um, I've got to ask you to do something for me, though, Katie. Let's yeah. try this because uh, I want you to try to describe for the young ladies that may be going through this or have gone through this. <sighs> Describe the feelings and the emotions of the highs and lows. Kara, the same with you. Feel free to just, for a minute. Sometimes we can approach certain aspects of life without a doubt left brain, and we can be very logical or pragmatic about it, as many of us can be. But I really want to dive into the emotional aspect that these abusers do to people, which is utterly disgusting. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be a female or a male narcissist. Either way, parent, it could be whatever we're talking do you just, want me well, to like give an example of I, I want you to to tell us what the feeling was like on those highs and lows where all of a sudden you felt high and in love and then all of a sudden you felt abandoned or maybe whatever it was for you. Like a yeah. drug. Well the, the highs are of like a drug, yeah. It is. The highs it's better than a drug. It's just like it's, better, the high, it's, better. it's Wait, love. We're Someone's not we're not promoting it, but it's <laughs> It's like a drug. Don't, don't go, don't go marrying a narcissist just because she said that. Let me clarify that. Okay, this is Narc Abuse TV, but we're not promoting. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Be careful, man. You go. You, no, I'm you know, just saying. All, wow. all, all, all my subscribers just disappear. You know, everybody just got No, you. but it's, it's love. You know, I'm saying like love is better than every anything. <laughs> like you know, when yeah. someone finally chooses you. But the highs, you just feel like on top of this world. You feel motivated. You feel inspired. You just feel great. Like you have the world in your hands, you know, and then it could just change so drastically when all of a sudden one day this person is just, I don't care. I don't give a, you know, like, oh, okay. But I thought you loved me. Like, why are you talking to me like that? You know, and then, and then you try and, ex yeah. And then you try and express to them like, oh, I don't like the way that you like to talk to me. And then it turns to, well, you know, you're always nagging. You're always doing this. And I'm like, I'm wow. just trying to express how I feel, you know, and right. then they just go lower and lower and lower. Like, you're always doing this, like, you know, and it just really takes you to such a dark hole. And I just have to say really quickly, if you guys haven't seen Made, the Netflix show, you need to watch that because it really right. shows you that whole cycle and the real yeah. low parts. And um, those low parts that you experience, they're not a part of your life now. No. But you know how to help individuals who may go through that to be able to navigate and work their way through it because you've experienced it. Mm -hmm. Can I chime in on this? Um, yes, go right ahead. I don't think that the lows leave you completely. I think that, um, like for me, 
me and Katie love the moon, obviously. That's why we have moon tattoos for our brand. Uh. Um, so basically, like, w we always kind of say that with the moon, when the moon comes around, like, we feel these lows a little more still, where some of this stuff is still heavy. Some of this stuff still stays with you. Yes, we have left. Yes, we have moved on. Yes, we have started all of this, you know, to spread awareness. Yes. Yeah. But it doesn't mm -hmm. mean that we're fully healed. So, like, I want to reach out to those people that are like, well, I'm, you know, left, but yeah. I'm also not on this high because right, I'm right, not right, on right, that right. all the time either. Like, I have yeah, a right. lot. So I want right. to just like, put that out there. I, I definitely agree. I just don't think that the lows to the extreme that when I was in the narcissist, I have those anymore. I can have flashbacks yeah. or trauma, you know, PTSD, but I don't think that I have been yeah. to that point since I have decided yeah. I am done with that relationship. Sure. You have, but you have, definitely you, have highs and lows because you, yeah. life ain't always breezy, baby. <laughs> but but you have more positive memories now. Would it be safe to say than you had then? Positive memories, like every day today, comparison to the relationship. Now you have more positive memories now, would you say, oh, than yeah. you had before? Oh yeah. So anybody that's hearing this now and they're just starting their journey, what they if they feel static. hope? They what if they feel hopeless? No, I'm just saying, what if they feel hopeless? You've just given them a measure of hope. You've just given them an opportunity to see things or recovery is possible, and things will get better. And, and it's the no, ugly it's, truth. The ugly truth is it starts with you, and you have to hold yourself accountable. And yes, it hurts and you can reach out and there's people that are there for you, but you can't keep saying, I'm, you know, it's him, it's him, it's him, or it's her, it's her, it's her. You can't keep blaming the other person. You really have to hold yourself accountable and start making those choices to educate yourself, like Kara said, and really just create your own life and bring back your happiness. I just want to put out there too, there's definitely hope because I went back seven times. I went back seven times. Do you know how like much that is the back and forth, the kick out, moving, all that stuff? And I I could talk to you. I could talk to both of you about that for about another five hours because I want to dissect that one day. No, you're gonna have to come back or we're gonna do something because okay. that is very what you have both said that because yeah. you you were hoovered back. You went back seven times. There is something about that that needs to be discussed because people are doing it. Yeah. If you, if you, it. no, I'm just saying, if you did it, today. Yeah. and it, it should be, uh, I know you guys will do this on your channel and what you guys are doing, but repeatedly talked about because too many people are doing it, not knowing I have control over this to stop it. Uh, yeah. I, you know, that addiction, I can, I can cut, cut off that supply that mm -hmm. he's giving me. That's bad for me. I'm please go ahead. Go ahead. And what no, you're, you're saying. fine. No, you're fine. And I know a lot of times, um, you're sometimes dependent on this person and sometimes they'll be like, I'm going to cut you off. And like a lot of times yeah. people yeah. go back because they're stuck in a situation. Um, so with that, I would just say like, even when you're in that situation, you truly just have to love yourself and just pray and hope and, mm -hmm. you know, look for jobs, opportunities, uh, ways to get out, you know, yeah. we have gone 37 minutes. And it is now officially uh, the Kara Education Hour. Uh, we're not going to we're, we're going to actually talk more than an hour per se, but uh, you're going to take some time right now to do that. I do have to tell everybody if it's your first time here, I do see you in the chat. I am not going to ignore it, but I just wanted to spend some time uh, initially uh, getting some things uh, discussed with Katie uh, and let everyone get make sure you have enough time to get your pencils and paper and notebooks together because Kara, uh, the Kara Crunch Hour, uh, <laughs> education hour is about to, I'm just, I'm making up stuff as I go. I so, um, it. I this it. is, this is free. Hey, this is free TV. What they got to do, cut me off. And, you know, <laughs> you know, and so what I, what I do have to read, there's stuff happening here. I have to read it to you. And then Kara, I need you to just, you know, again, take over, go ahead and go, uh, do what you're going to do. Uh, wish I knew what a narcissist was during my marriage. Uh, that's coming from, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher your name. Uh, I'm just going to say Dib. Uh, she says, I wish I knew what a narcissist was during my marriage. I lived with one for over 20 years, and the label uh, I always give it, gave it was an abusive relationship. That's what she says. 
uh, so you have somebody here listening in agreeing with you, it always is in the back of your mind. That's according to Melissa Surprise. She, uh, again, others here are agreeing with you. There's a number of them. I do have to read them to you. Uh, everybody, I appreciate you being here and waiting for me to get to you if it's your first time here. By the way, if you're here, you're more than welcome here on our channel. What we do is you can make up a fake name. You can use your real name. I wouldn't know the difference. Instead of me having to call and use your Instagram name, which is beautiful, it's just <laughs> hard for an old man to use. Uh, feel free to make up a name. Everybody could be Jane Doe for tonight. That's fine with me, too. Um, <laughs> go away, come back. She says, they twist your natural human emotions. Hmm. Love is supposed to feel like a high. The narc is incapable of love, only abuse. Uh, Melissa also says, I have been back so many times, too. She's agreeing with both of you. Um, you guys are striking a chord here, without a doubt. And um, uh, your mom says, so happy you've broken the cycle. Uh, I'm sorry. That I'm sorry. She gave me goosebumps. That alone is going to make me cry as a dad. Because if my daughter, I'm proud of both of you, and you're not my biological family. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really proud of both of you mm -hmm. to, to stand on your yeah. own two feet emotionally. Okay? And I'm not like on your tippy toes, like on eggshells, but you're on your heels. You, you are grounded. Even though you may have moments, look at the impact you're having right now. I know because I'm looking at the screen. I mean, I'm scrolling and looking at what everybody's saying. Uh, so people are recognizing what you're saying. Kara, have at it. All right. So I'm going to give a background on why I am such a little nerd. Um, I work in the medical <laughs> field. I work in radiology. Uh, I have loved science and loved to learn. You're, nar to you're a narcologist. You're not a radiologist anymore. Works, um, <laughs> since I was in high school. So yeah. I actually went to, <laughs> I took summer school to take an extra class of science. That's how nerdy I was. So <laughs> Got We're it. just going to jump it. right into it. I wanted to know why the heck I acted this way, why the heck my brain acted this way, and what happens. Like, there's all this research on the narcissist and what happens and why they act that way. But, like, okay. why does our brain, you know, like, being okay. a survivor, like, how can I understand myself? How can I find myself again? So... I'm just going to dive right into it. So we're going to talk about the brain. So basically, your left side of your brain is going to go over like mathematics, logic, languages, like all of that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And then the right side of your brain is basically going to be like your creativity, your arts, your imagination, daydreaming. So during this time when you're going through narcissistic abuse, your left side basically shuts down and your right side, it lights up. And so basically like all of your logic shuts down mm -hmm. and you're just in like daydreaming la la land basically. So that okay. kind of helps you understand, you know, like what the heck is going on. That's just a little right, intro right. to it. So as you guys know, or maybe you don't know with like narcissistic abuse, you can lead to PTSD and it does have effects okay. on three major parts of the brain. So that's going to be your hippocampus, your frontal your prefrontal cortex, and then your amygdala, which my boyfriend helped me <laughs> look up because I've been waiting. I've been, I've been leading up to this moment in which he <laughs> would get a plug. He would get a plug. Now, go ahead. Nope, go we ahead. literally, like, went on Google and was like, Google, how do you say this word? Because I didn't want to mispronounce it. So wait, wait, I'm sorry. Time out for a second. Time out. This has never happened on this show. This reminds me as if me I'm sitting at home with my daughters and we're having a conversation. This is exactly, she's like, you guys can be my daughters. Literally, your personalities are very similar. So I, this is amazing. But go right ahead because you know what I really want to see. I, I hear you talking, but in the hearts, of, they're just streaming across the screen and people are talking over here. Go way back, go away, go away, come back, says you, yes, you both are truly incredible women. You're getting love all on the screen, Aww. but I'm waiting for what you know I'm waiting for. So come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so go. Um, the prefrontal cortex of your brain, right? Your hippocampus, and then your amygdala, <laughs> which is what we looked up to make sure. So, armadillo. We can call it armadillo on this show. It's okay. We, <laughs> none of us, we yeah, whatever we want to call it. We do what we want on this show. Go ahead. So your hippocampus <laughs> shuts down, and then your amygdala lights up. 
your hippocampus, basically the one that shuts down is yes. your learning, your memory, your decision making, okay. all of that, right? Yes. So because yes. it is shut down, that makes you a lot easier to gaslight. If you don't know what gaslighting is, go ahead and type that in Google right now because we're going to move past that a little bit. <laughs> with got it, got it. it. With the amygdala, it's your fight or flight. So every time you get scared and anxious, this is activated, which we all know happens during the narcissistic abuse. Okay. You're scared, you're anxious. That's where your anxiety comes from. This also okay. controls your breathing, your heart rate, your love, your hate, all of your emotions, right? So that is lit up. So I printed out a picture. Here we go, everybody. So, I love show and tell on my show. Yes, I love show and tell. <laughs> You know what? Hold on a second. Hold it right there. Everybody, as we normally do on this, this platform, um, move it over to your right a little bit, I think. You know, your left. Yeah, move it over to your left. What, what, a little bit too much. You, you just real slow, real slow, real, keep moving, real slow, keep going. Right there. Hold it right there. Now. Okay, now, Katie, go ahead and do what you were just doing. We are doing, doing the Vanna White thing. Hold it right there. Just hold it right there. Now, everybody that's watching, please, uh, especially you, Pat Coach, or anybody else that's here, leave, leave no contact. Uh, some of you regulars that are here, take a screenshot and send it to, to Soul Cousin. Is it Soul Cousins? I'm saying it wrong, aren't I? It's Soul, no, it's Soul Cousin. Uh, send it to their page or send it to me uh, so that we have a screenshot of this. I can't take one necessarily at this moment where I, I'm at. But just hold it there just for a second uh, and feel free to send this picture to them and give them some love for the work that she went through and your boyfriend. Uh, to put this together, and our beautiful, who's better than Vanna White, Katie, that did that for the pointing for us there. <laughs> so thank you very much. Go right ahead. Now go ahead. You go do what you do. Awesome okay. picture, though. So your amygdala lights up, right? So this is basically going to get activated. So fight or flight, you're literally, your brain is like, oh, my God, what is going on? Your hippocampus, which is your decision-making, logic, memory all that stuff right here's another yep. photo <laughs> go right ahead so that is shrunk so i am a visual learner so i printed these out so that's why like when your hippocampus is shrunk the narcissist okay. can say like i never said that i didn't do that and you're kind of like questioning yourself. You're like, maybe they did it. Maybe I'm imagining this because your brain is literally shrunk right now. Like it doesn't remember what's going on. Okay. So then going back to basically like your amygdala, which is stressed out because it okay. is expanded. So during that cortisol is released, which is your stress hormone. So because of all of this, your brain is kind of contradicting, like it doesn't know what to, you know, kind of basically trust. And so that's why okay. a lot of survivors will feel like they can't trust themselves, will feel like they're second guessing themselves. I know for me, I'm still working on this to where okay. my hmm. intuition is so spot on, but mm -hmm. my brain is still like, well, maybe. And it's like, uh, oh, shut up, brain. Yeah. My intuition knows yeah. best. Like, my gut, like, just yeah. gotta right. trust your gut. Right. right. And yeah. I think that stems from, for me at least, like, how could I trust myself when I went back seven times? Like, how could I do this? Well, understanding yeah. why you went back because of like all of this stuff with your brain will really help you start to like forgive yourself and move forward. So right. we're going to go into there is hope. So you can regrow your amygdala or no. I'm not, I'm mixing it up. You can regrow your hippocampus. That's what you want to grow because it is shrunk. And that is your memory, your decision making, all of that, right? Before so we, you say the next, before you say the next aspect, then let me please ask this. Katie, did you, did you recognize when you were experiencing this type of narcissistic uh, drain on you emotionally and what you were going through? the abuse, did you feel that at times your memory was, was off and that you couldn't remember things properly or what was true or not true? I couldn't even go grocery shopping. It would take me like two <laughs> okay, hours. Okay, no, I'm sorry. You, that's a good one. I'm, no, that's a good one. No, I'm glad you think. said that. I've I heard other people say that. And when they, you have this person that's calling you dumb, calling you stupid, calling, yes. calling you dumber than a bag of rocks, and I'm trying to go do something, 
and I can't pick out which freaking macaroni and cheese to buy, I felt like right. I was literally going insane, and I didn't know what was wrong with me. Right, right, right. So it does happen, and everybody needs to know, if you're experiencing this, and someone is putting you in these positions, what Katie and Kara are mentioning, and Kara is illustrating, please, here, Kara, could you hold that picture up again? I'm just going to do this. And we point point to the this. <laughs> yeah, put the first one up for us, please, for a second, and point to that part that you said. Just point to the is it the red one, right? That yeah. part is the part you're saying grows and expands, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that creates a problem. Yeah. And I just want people to know that's happening to you. In you know, if you if you just went through that today, maybe when you woke up this morning, or you're expecting that person to come home from dinner, or or going to go to bed, or they're there now. This is what's happening inside is what, what Kara is saying. And the more we understand, I'm just going to kind of shrink wrap uh, what you said if, the best way I can as a guy trying to understand because yeah. you explained it so well. You're saying then that this is happening inside and Katie's been talking about what, she, what happens outside when you're dealing with them. And when the two come together, it's like what's happening in the chat over here. That, you know, they essentially try to make you feel like you're going crazy or you think you're going crazy That's because exactly you can't do a simple task is yeah. like what Katie's saying. That's exactly uh, what the tactic is. It's called a cognitive dissonance. And I preach on that, that word because that's it's a tactic that a narcissist uses to create this confusion in you and to help or like you lose yourself, basically. That's exactly what they want you to want to happen. Yeah. yeah. And, and, uh, Kara, you're going to keep going there. Uh, we have a few more minutes to go here. But then we're going to need to take a commercial break because we have gone literally 50 minutes, going on 51 minutes. Of course, it, it probably like 10 minutes. I was, yeah, I, I, tell, really I tell people that all the time. We can do this all night. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I said these shows, I tell people that when I say we're going to do three hours ago, like, that's a long time to talk. I said, you have no idea how fast it'll go by. So much so information. Getting dark. So I had to turn the light on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, yes. And now yeah. we, now we can see. We can see you. Can you say a little bit more for us for about another 10 minutes or so or thereabouts you can highlight to us, please? Yeah. So as far as like when I found out all of this, I was honestly like upset that someone altered my brain without my permission. I got really okay, that, mad. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. I've got to hold on a second. Hold on. The little children that I have volunteering inside of my console are happy to hear you say that because <laughs> I think people should get upset when they figure out what has happened. Yeah. Uh, be, because that way they will want to defend themselves and protect themselves. But go ahead, please. You said you made you upset when you figured out what was somebody was doing to your brain. Yeah, it made me upset because, like, I didn't give them permission. This is my brain. Like, I want to protect my <laughs> That's brain. That's a good one. I don't want That's a I like that. Anyone permission in my head rent free. So yeah. basically I want to shed light onto this. So people, if they are feeling like I was like really mad, like my brain is different. So, um, I do see a counselor that specializes in NPD uh -huh. and a really yeah. good analogy she told me is basically, it's like someone came in and let's picture your entertainment center, right? And back okay. in the day, not now where we have like wall, but back. Hey, what, in the hey, what's day, that? You know, hey, what's like, that supposed to mean? That's that, that's kind of messed up. You just said that to me. I mean, no, I understand. I'm not like those hip guys chat. that are in their 30s and 40s. <laughs> I'm talking to hey. everyone on this chat. Back in the day, this is this is like being with my daughters. This is like being with my daughters. You just made you just put me in a nursing home next, right? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> when we had like. 30 chords right like all of them are tangled and you're like oh, thank god it's set up i'm never going back there until i move so okay. basically let's think that that's the way your brain is it's an entertainment center and it's all wires all the neurons right okay. someone mm -hmm. came in and unplugged everything and plugged it all into the wrong spots so our job now is to basically figure out where these plugs go so it is going to take some time. So you need to be patient with yourself, just like you would be patient while you're trying to plug your TV back in. So got it, got it. it's a perfect analogy <laughs> to where, you know, someone came in and messed with it, but yep. you can still grow it. And so the, I want to shed light on this now. So we want to grow the like hippocampus, right? The one that was shrunk. Okay. So how to do this is journaling, meditating, extreme self-care which katie and i have talked about 
essential yeah. oils will really help yeah. aromatherapy yeah. for katie and i fitness helped we okay. went right. to the gym we okay. cried at the gym <laughs> did you see what, what she just did did it's you just see what you just did no my bad. daughters my daughters do that because they live <laughs> when they live weight and i tell them keep doing that that'll keep the bad guys away and right? you'll get a good husband it's no yeah go ahead i'm sorry helpful mentally to be in yeah. the gym but one, you're yeah. gonna get way hotter, and they're gonna be sad. <laughs> so it's a win you wait. Win. Time out. No time out. No. I know we got to take a commercial break, but I got to tell you this: <laughs> you need you need a t-shirt with a picture, a silhouette. <laughs> wait, a silhouette of both of you with all my what, what are you, Wait, no, 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 no! Please don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. Uh, <laughs> but 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 one of you on one side doing this, and the other one on this side, and That's then cute. hashtag. Hashtag, we look way hotter. And then at the bottom, at the bottom, if you guys have a website, have your website there. And when people go there, they'll connect and go like, oh, it's about narcissism. And yeah, and, it's, have, and you can kind of, I'm just, that's say, a marketing idea throughout the so. We have to say hashtag and then what's that brain word? Armadillo? Oh, what's the, oh, armad so armadillo? What, we <laughs> I, I say armadillo, I say armadillo, it's not right. Gonna, let's say hippocampus <laughs> because that's the one we want to regrow. Okay, hashtag so hippocampus. Look, Hey, look at look at her, Katie. Look at her, Katie. She over to drop in knowledge. She she puts her hand on like Doctor Phil. No, that's hippocampus, please. So guys, get it correct. Get it. And Katie and I are making laughing and stuff. And she's going like, "Come on, guys, this is serious stuff." Come on, we gotta have one smart person in the group, Paxton. Hey, hey, hey. We well, her. We got seven You're smart people smart. in there. Wait, well, one well, of her. We got seven. <laughs> oh, there's 19, there's nineteen other smart people in here. I wasn't talking to the camera. Uh, uh, well. We, 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 we hope that. Oh, by the way, I just have to tell you, don't get fooled by the number here on, on the thing. Every time it's you could have 100 people here. I, I won't know until I get done. My my thing with Instagram before it used to never work. And then they kind of like, well, we'll show you a few people. Anyhow, I just want to tell you that you guys could be talking to a whole bunch of people. We'll find out once I go to hey. upload it. But what I was going to tell you is the information that you're giving us, it really helps people to shift shift the way they look at this narcissism, because it's not just what has happened to you. It's, it's justifiable. They did some really horrendous things. It's justifiable that you're upset. Mm -hmm. But to understand the depth in which they did yeah. the damage yeah. to yeah. you mentally, connected to you emotionally, it's mm -hmm. more than just an emotional thing. And therefore, well, working out and other, other things that you, we can personally and physically are capable of doing or that the doctor tells you it's okay to do, all of those things are important is what you're saying. Yeah. So it, it's not just, hey, they did me wrong and no contact. You literally regain your brain back by doing other things. And one of them is what you're saying, Kara, to really understand what has happened to your body physically and your nervous system and your brain. Yeah. Um, go ahead. A, a few more words. And I got to read to you what everybody's saying over here okay. while we've been laughing and talking. Um, so I do want to just touch on like cognitive dissonance what katie did say so this is basically if you've never heard of this term this is basically when you're in, you have inconsistent thoughts and you're battling yourself so not trusting your own judgment so kind of losing mm -hmm. your sense of self so yeah. for example like you know oh i really like he's a good person or she's a good person or i really know these they're not that or they're not good for me but i can't leave kind of thing right so you're yeah, like right, right. in your head going back and forth like yeah. battling so what <laughs> helps with this is validation so affirmations i write three affirmations every day in my journal i write them twice and affirmations can be found on pinterest they can be found anywhere but basically right. validating that you are not crazy that this yeah. stuff happened to you because some of us things that have happened to Katie and I were like no one is ever going to believe us like mm -hmm. because it's like literally out there these things that they have wow. done and That's so crazy. validating mm -hmm. that like Katie said journaling now and then mm -hmm. later on looking back at it is a huge validation yeah. affirmations because we want to talk mm -hmm. about how to recover from this right mm -hmm. and so this okay. is how you're going to recover also self-love and accountability buddy just like you would be in the gym if you had a coach right if okay. you had a gym trainer you know katie okay. and i were that that accountability buddy where we're like oh my gosh i want to text them oh my gosh i'm sad today you know like it it's 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 almost as if you're saying it's okay to have a an emotional personal trainer 
No, no. Uh, I no, mean, no, no, I'm sorry. Cool I'm sorry. Here. Wait, time out. Time out just happened to me. You need to, you need to market that too. I'll just say hashtag. You, you both should be people's personal emotional trainer. Just tell oh, them to call oh. you up. I kind of like are. that. You, yes. You, yeah, you, you should. Uh, I know there's more that you can highlight to us. I am going to need to take a break. We have gone 58 minutes and 30 some odd seconds and counting, but I need to get to what everybody has here real quick. We're going to yeah. take a break. We're going to come back, but we need to begin where you where, where you have just ended and we're going to pick it up from where you are right now and a few other things because i i do have a surprise for you uh we are going to play a game uh, so, 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 so you you actually you, you know what you both did that was really weird you guys kind of not weird in a bad way but you both just did that i'm gonna say you must be related but anyway, i was gonna say it. uh i have to tell you what everybody's saying here melissa surprise says what's real and what isn't is a challenge talking about what you were just mentioning there about what is it again? Cognitive what? Dissonance. Yeah. They make you believe you are the one going crazy. Yeah. And by the way, that's from, that's from Diane. Thank you, Diane, for uh, telling me what your name was there. I appreciate it. Others are giving you claps and uh, shout outs and that's uh, Aman and, and others. Uh, uh, leave. Yes, please. Sorry. Um, I think it was Melissa. I would really just, get serious with the journaling like that's what really helped me because what you're feeling is valid and it's real and it's coming straight from you so writing that down really helps you um get through it and validate your own feelings and like i yeah. said into the future you can look back and that those are things that like help keep me away from this person yeah. because it was real you know yeah i i i see it i see it Oh, please go ahead. Nope, if what you're you going to say, go ahead. Like, I have a girl where she's like, I really want to start journaling, but I'm not sure where to start. If you go yeah. on Pinterest and you type like in the search bar, there's a ton of okay. journal prompts where you could say, you know, like, I want to do self love journaling today, or I want to mm -hmm. do trauma stuff where there's questions that someone made already, and you could just click it and yeah. you can just go through that. So that was helpful. That's very, very oh. good. I am, I am very much so. Uh, looking forward to your mother being your um, your publishing agent when you guys come up with your own self-published journal. I'm uh, just throwing that out oh, there. That's cute. The, the, the Soul Cousins uh, journal. Journal. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just throwing stuff out to you. It pops in my it. head. Like, uh, write this but down. <laughs> you better. Hey, I told you that in the show prep. If I throw it, just write it because well, you got we, twelve. You got twelve months before we, I end up coming up with the same idea again. Yeah, we wanted uh, to. We wanted to do a couple of things before we came to the show, but we ha only had a couple of weeks in between. So that's, both of us that's all right. We're we're listen. I I will be your your free publicity agent for the rest uh, of your life. As long as as long as I'm around, I'm telling you guys are, are ex you ladies are excellent. I have to read you what everybody's writing here, so yeah. you know what it is, and we can address it when we come back. But uh, feel free to take notes from some of the things that they're saying. Uh, leave leave no contact. Go ghost says I went back many times because I believed uh, his uh, essentially his lies. I, I'm cleaning that up. That's not really what I think she meant to write. But um, uh, she believed his lies. Uh, Mrs. Ricky M says you forget what happened right after the argument because they make you feel so crazy. Yes. I just have to say I'm, and there's more to read. I'm not going to ignore everybody here, okay. but I just got to take a moment here. Has that happened to both of you? Yes. Yeah, actually, when okay. Tara was just talking about like it's um, my that, fault all of a sudden, what? <laughs> like it would no. be my fault, and then yeah. I would be worried about what. Yeah, I and then and then the argument can be so big and so long that you're just like, that's why journaling just helped me so much because I wrote it word okay. for word how this happened. But like when you try and tell something, you're like, when you try and tell someone, you don't know what the hell just happened. <laughs> like, yeah. Excuse yeah. my French. I, yeah. Well, I have virgin ears and you just insulted me. But what I was going <laughs> to say is, no, listen, I have to read the rest there. Okay, I'm going to try to read the rest of it and get caught up here. I found it gets even worse. This is from, uh, this is from, I'm going to say Natalie, if I remember correctly, but uh, Natter All Night says, I found it gets even worse when you leave. Uh, she says, you can't even do basic tasks and the brain fog is so severe. Anybody relate to that as well? Yeah, it's actually because, and like, we'll get to this a little when we come back. Yeah, when but we it's come back. Actually, yeah. because your brain is addicted to this and you're yeah. almost detoxing from this person. Oh, so you're okay. coming off of all that. So your brain is like locked out, right? Mm -hmm. It's like not yeah. sure what to do. It's craving that. Yeah. You know, your amygdala is 
still really large. Your hippocampus is still shrunk. So your brain is just literally like it's unplugged, like I said. So mm -hmm. I, I have why. to I have to tell you, uh, others agreeing with you. Uh, of course, your mom says brain fog. She says the same thing. And uh, you do have a request in here. Uh, Mrs. Can me can no no oh man. I hope not. Can you hear me now? No, you got me back. Hello, testing Wait, one just, two three. Can you, you hear me? Out. Testing. Okay, can you you testing one two three. Back. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Gumby, Gumby, Gumby's we here. Gumby's back. here. Okay, now. Gumby's here. All right, so I just want to say, uh, wow, that you freak you guys freak me out because I could hear you and I'm looking at it, but yes, I am frozen. Oh. Am I am I am I unfrozen now? We're good. We're good. Okay, so uh, again, Ricky says she's disappointed because she missed your demonstration. So when we come back, you're going to have to do it from the beginning so, okay. so that she's okay and she can see it and not have to go all the way back and watch it from the beginning, but she may do that anyhow. Uh, your mom says you're doing great. You oh, wait, you three. I thought I was going to say you too, but thank you're you. Thank you. doing great, sweetie. Cindy. Yes, yeah, so yeah. And you got, you got three hearts from Amon, uh, if I'm saying that right. right. Um, and uh, Amber, my wonderful friend Amber from last year, who's been on the show a number of times, uh, she says absolutely agreeing with you. Your mom is your mom is giving you a happy laughing face. Uh, and great analogy is what Melissa says. You must have gave uh, us an analogy, Kara, a little while back. She's giving you props on that. And your your mom your mom is giving you three of these. <laughs> so and a and a couple of band aids and a few hearts. And our mom's laughing. Everybody's loving you guys. Um, Amber says changing perspective. Uh, thank you for this information. She's appreciating the information that you're giving. And she's also agreeing about the affirmations that you highlighted. Uh, that uh, she says that I am uh, the I am app is uh, so delicious for affirmation. Uh, so whatever everybody wants to share with one another, please look at me losing my tongue. Um, oh, the Laker Laker game must be coming on. Anybody that wants to anybody that wants to share in the chat, if this is your first time here, you don't know this. Uh, feel free to talk with one another. That That is what normally happens when we do the shows. Uh, don't feel uh, bad if somebody starts speaking to you, and they're doing that because that happens here. It's very interactive throughout the chat and encouraging to one another. Uh, they love your idea. Uh, many of them are agreeing with you a 1,000%. Uh, um, Aman says, great job. I could listen for hours. Uh, see what you guys started? You guys are awesome, see? You gotta have to do more lives. Thank you, you guys. Have to, you have Thank to do you more lives. Uh, Melissa so says, "I lo I love this." And uh, Miss Melissa says, "I love this." And giving you some hearts. Um, <laughs> Amber Amber says to Armand, "Same. Just open. Just popped in and don't want to put the phone down." That's pretty Aww. good, Amber. That's pretty good, Amber. I like that one. That's pretty. I might use that. I might make a shirt out of that. That was pretty funny. Um, Journal. Uh, there, she's agreeing with you. Amber is about journaling. Uh, there's an awesome book called Let It Out that really changed my perspective on journaling as well. Uh, that is something I do want to touch on before we go to our commercial break. And you're getting from Mrs. Mrs. Uh, or rather Mr. Cindy or Mrs. Cindy 32. Sure, that's my boyfriend. Okay. All right. All right. The that's the ma cool. the man the man with a plan uh, to to keep your heart. He says, great job, ladies. And uh, he's Aww. giving you some props, props there. And uh, trauma bond, go away, go away, come back. Uh, did we talk about the trauma bond? That is uh, what I was going to come back. I was going to say, aren't we going to talk about, okay, so I'm going to make sure. So please uh, stick around, uh, go away, come back. And I am sorry, I forgot your name. You told me at another show, but uh, please, if you can, come back. Of course, you can watch this back later for free on our uh, Instagram page, but we're going to talk about trauma. Bond. I just wanted to make sure that, so trauma I can tell her that and no contact as well. Okay. And no contact 32 years to detox and is what she said. Love. Yeah. Amber says, and finding new love. We'll talk about that as well. You guys are going to hang out all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you late, Laker game coming on. I don't know about that. Even though I, even though it's recorded, even though it's recorded, but I'm no, I have to tell you this. Amber says 32 years to detox. And, uh, with, with a sad face, of course, and it's a long journey. She's still having a long journey. Uh, and thank you. Uh, leave no contact. I appreciate the compliment that you gave me. Uh, and yes, I'm not going to read that on air, but I humbly appreciate that. Can I uh, say to Amber, 
it's a long yeah. journey, but it's very fulfilling and very rewarding the closer yeah. Yeah. you get to yourself. So don't give up you, on yourself. You may find uh, at some point that uh, you may, it's up to you guys, to, uh, you ladies, I should say, to do to a, a live with her. Um, but you, yeah. uh, she's, uh, she's made great progress. Now she's actually out on her own in her own place. Yeah. Uh, and you, you, you'd have to connect with her and she'll tell you the story. I'm not going to uh, let you, I'll let you guys find that out. Uh, everybody. Okay. You guys, you guys, I'm trying to end this. And somebody just put Amber just says, absolutely. It's rewarding. She's agreeing with you, by the way. She just typed that. And uh, she says, thank you. And then she calls you beautiful. Oh, uh, thank so you. thank you for that. I am at the end of everything here. Uh, um, <laughs> Somebody told me that they sent the comment before they finished typing, but it's okay. I got you. Uh, um, I just want to say, this is what some, uh, somebody's typing here for us. And uh, doggone it, I just went blank on her name. Uh, they say, I just want to say that Katie's mom would be very proud. Uh, and she's saying, of you, Katie. Uh, and she's saying, cry. love you. So, hey, listen, first of all, this is the wrong channel because we cry on this thing all the time. <laughs> I got a rag over here. I got another rag over here. We have cried many times on this show, yeah. me especially. But uh, everybody's agreeing with you. I just wanted to read that to completion at this point. Um, for many of you who have never watched this before and have passing through, this is what we do. It is free internet TV on Narc Abuse TV Network. We also have open session podcasts. Uh, all of it is free to you uh, where we, put, we showcase other people in their pages that are positive, informative, and uh, they are very encouraging. Uh, that is what these two beautiful women are. All three of those things are wrapped up in each one of them, and collectively they be, are a force to be reckoned with. Uh, so by all means, as we are about to go take a break, if you want to know their Instagram page, can, can one of you type it in into the chat real quick before yeah. I... And when we come back, Kara, what are we going to be uh, discussing again? Traumatizing the, the, and the science in your brain behind it because I'm a little nerd. <laughs> and, <laughs> you're, not, you're not a nerd. You're not a nerd. I'm like you're a you're helping people. Nerd, you and also, you're under, smart, also yeah. no contact. And if you guys are on that path of no contact right now, I know how hard it could be, but stay tuned and just keep doing the best that you can to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, if you can't come back, remember there's another episode coming uh, as soon as I get done uploading this and getting everything ready to come back on again. And we're going to talk about these points that they're highlighting. Now, of course, you can go to their, their Instagram page and get some of this information as well, and they're going to post more things for you to learn from. But right now, this is your opportunity to get to know them a little bit better yeah. and know the, the people behind the bio. Yes. If you guys are in here right now, send us a DM with a wave, and we want yeah. to say hi to you guys and meet you guys. Yeah. So. There you go. Okay, everybody. Um, you, man, you you asked the wrong audience audience because they'll do it too. I'm they'll do it. We <laughs> they'll, they'll, reach out to they'll, all you guys. They'll, 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 yeah, you'll phones. get you'll get new <laughs> followers. Anybody that comes on my page ends up getting uh, new followers every time because my audience is very loyal to whoever teaches them mm -hmm. and takes out of their time. They love and we'll it. Be so learning thank you. From you guys too. We'll be learning from you. We're always learning, so we're not. Uh, <laughs> I, I I appreciate you saying that to them because you know the only thing you learn from me is. I've got to take a commercial break. So, so uh, thank you both for an hour and 11 minutes. We, we have gone. And uh, hopefully um, you've gotten some of those jitters out. You were nervous at the beginning, huh? Oh, yeah. it, it, it's so much better now. I was like, okay. my lips were like quivering. I was all scared. I'm like, this is so easy. This is I don't, I don't, everything that I don't, we prepared for. I don't think your lips were moving, actually. No, <laughs> to me, they were. I'm like, yeah. Okay, anyways. All right, all right. So we'll, we'll be back in just a moment. Everybody, thank you very much. We'll be back. Expect us back in about another 15 minutes thereabouts, okay? Everybody, we'll see you soon in just a little bit. Be right back. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. You are like my daughters, both of you, because that's what I hear at my house all the time. You're like, it's like being with my son. I got to go pee. And thanks a lot. All right, we'll see you later. Remember that. That's the last words you're going to hear on this segment. Bye. Bye. <laughs>